Well, good morning and welcome, everyone. I'm Taylor Tedder, City Manager, and just thank you all for being here today. I'd like to give a special thank you to Mayor Joe Hardy, as well as our council members here today, uh, Councilwoman Booth and uh, Councilmember Walton. So uh, thank you. And then I'd also like to thank um, our special guest, uh, Clark County Commissioner Jim Gibson, uh, who we'll hear from a little bit later. Our Parks and Recreation Director, Roger Hall, could not be here today, but it goes without saying that his commitment and dedication over his 45 years uh, to Boulder City's parks is immeasurable. Uh, I sincerely appreciate all that he's done for our, our wonderful community. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize some of our staff in attendance. Uh, from our recreation, uh, Parks and Recreation Department, we have Julie Calloway. Uh, from our par Public Works Department, Jamie Carreri, Jim Keen, Gary Poindexter, Shane Cunningham, and Tim Lynch. Um, we also have our finance director here, Cynthia Sneed. We can't uh, do these projects without the, the financial aspect of it. Um, from our city clerk's office, we have Tammy McKay and Stacy Brownfield, and police chief Tim Shea, fire chief uh, Will Gray, uh, utilities director Joe Stubitz, and for my team, Holly Webb with the camera and Lisa LaPlante, our communications manager. So next year, it will be 40 years since Hemingway Park was constructed and dedicated. And in 1984, no one had cell phones or internet and some may not have had cable TV. But in that time, this park has become a popular stop for those traveling from Hoover Dam to Las Vegas. Um, visitors hoping to see the bighorn sheep these majestic animals make themselves at home during the daytime hours, and maybe we'll see one today. <laughs> the Hemingway Park expansion project included an addition of a walking trail, bench seating, irrigation improvements, interpretive signage, and more. The nature trail funnels park goers to the outskirts of the park and through the desert to provide safe viewing of the sheep. The Nevada Department of Wildlife worked with us on this project, and to discuss their effort, efforts, I'd like to please welcome Douglas Nielsen, Conservation Education Supervisor to Endow, uh, to come on up, Doug. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we have a special relationship with the city of Boulder City and the folks at the Parks and Recreation Department. They've uh, made a lot of things possible for us over the years. This park, uh, because of the presence of the bighorn sheep that uh, make it home, especially in the warm summer months, we've been able to do a lot of research on pneumonia and its impact on bighorn sheep, uh, which have greatly impacted the um, River Mountain sheep herd. We today, we have well, the number's down a little bit because of the pneumonia, but we've been as high as 12,000 sheep in the state. In 1967, we had less than 2,500. And the early trap and transplanting efforts, uh, we used sheep out of the River Mountain herd because of its uh, productivity and compared to other areas of the state. And so this has been a very important location for us in terms of research and reproduction. Here at... Uh, here at the park in 2014, we worked with Roger and the folks at Parks and Recreation Department to create what we call the Hemingway Park Interpretive Project. And as you came in, there's a series of six signs there that talk about the sheep, their importance not only to Nevada and our biology, but to the people of Boulder City and the community. They really are an important part of the culture of this community and so we worked together to do that and then the opportunity came up for us to join uh, hands again and work together on the signage for this nature trail expansion and so Lauren raise your hand Lauren here she's trying to be be quiet and in the background she's our wildlife education coordinator over here and she oversaw the completion of the project in terms of researching and writing and designing the signage that you'll see along this nature trail expansion and you'll notice that the design 
and everything, even though the signs are a little smaller and serve a different purpose, match the original project that we, we put in. But all of that was made possible through partnership with Boulder City. In addition to that, we, we uh, have a free fishing day event every June at Veterans Memorial Park. And then we offer free fishing classes throughout the year. And that's all due to the partnership that we have with, with Boulder City. And so I just want to thank them for that today and for the opportunity to work with them. And I'm sure we'll have some other opportunities in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doug. During the COVID pandemic, Boulder City staff submitted a request for grant funding uh, to update this park. However, the request was denied. C County Commissioner Jim Gibson felt that the project would benefit the entire region, so he convinced the Clark County Board of Commissioners to approve an interlocal agreement for $175,000 to complete the project. It's a great honor for me to introduce the chair of the Clark County Board of Commissioners, Jim Gibson. Thank you very much. Th this is really an important park. Uh, it's important for lots of reasons, not the least of which is I've been bringing my kids here since 1984 or so when the park opened. Uh, the bighorn sheep showed up, it, that word got out pretty quickly and we began to come. And now my grandkids come to, big, to, to see the bighorn sheep here. What an incredible view of something that it's not a disappearing resource, but it's a changing resource. And we're so happy that we have the opportunity to partner with you. It's tough to find uh, the available dollars for park and rec development. Uh, in, in my district alone, I have the Wetlands Park, I have uh, Sunset Park, I have uh, Paradise Park, I have uh, the Silver Bowl Park and Sam Boyd Stadium and all of those things demand lots of attention. But when this item came up, it was really clear that I was not the only one. I travel from Henderson, but I have friends and family who've traveled here for the last 40 years or nearly 40 years to experience what happens here uniquely. And we're, what we're grateful for, among other things, is that you have been really good shepherds. You really take care of the sheep. And that's especially important to us. So thank you very much for the way that you um, are responsible and respond. It was a, a thrill to be able to find support, to be able to do this. You know that uh, you, if, you're, if you're nutty enough that you watch Channel 4 when we're on, um, you know how tough it is sometimes to get real support, extensive support, unanimous support. And we had unanimous support from all of the members of the board, and I think it's important that you know that. Thank you very much for inviting me over today. It's been a thrill to be a part of this. Thank you, Chairman Gibson. Our final speaker moved to Boulder City around the same time Hemingway Park was built. He has a great appreciation for our parks and what they mean for residents and visitors. So please join me in a warm welcome to Boulder City Mayor Joe Hardy. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, my uh, mentor for many years has been uh, County Commissioner Jim Gibson. And so it's been a pleasure to have been associated with him literally for 40 years and much of that time uh, interfacing with how we develop and what we do in Southern Nevada to make this a better community. And so his fingerprints are on far more than he has alluded to today. And we appreciate his leadership uh, on many levels and appreciate him coming to be with us. I will point out that if you're uh, on the RAM cam, the camera itself is right over there so you can see the view that you're going to see when you get on your computer and see if the sheep are here. And I think we have over 40,000 hits on that website at this point. So people are very aware and we all know that there are actual buses that park up there uh, in order to be able to see the sheep. This is indeed a tourist uh, attraction that is far and wide and is far bigger than just southern Nevada. 
Um, we we have been thrilled as a family to be here. Uh, before the current playground equipment, uh, my family, my children, um, before it was outlawed to have merry-go-rounds and swing sets, we played up here. And now we can still play up here with our grandchildren, and it's a beautiful place to come. I've played basketball in the courts back when I could play basketball. And it's, it's been just a blessing to have this. We appreciate the creation of those things like dams, like Hoover Dam, that has allowed us to have this reservoir we call Lake Mead. It's been truly a blessing for the city, for us individually, and for the people of Southern Nevada, extending for people who visit us from around the world. When we, I, I learned something, I took a hike uh, this morning, and I learned something on the interpretive signs that we we actually have a plant called desert. Uh, say it really loud. Mistletoe. Desert mistletoe, and it can be used as the way mistletoe can be used around Christmas time because that's when the red berries come out, right? So we have an opportunity to learn things on these interpretive things when you thought you knew everything. Did I say that? Uh, so this, this is an opportunity for us to cut the ribbon, as it were. Um, I don't think that we can uh, say enough about how this park helps us appreciate nature. And so we have rules here where we don't allow dogs off leash. We don't allow chasing wild animals. And so we're learning how to treat nature with respect in this park. And we appreciate everyone who comes here for respecting those wild animals we call sheep. And so we have, as the commissioner has alluded to, a role and a duty to be a shepherd for the sheep and for what we do here in Boulder City. And so appreciate everybody coming out today. So let's uh, cut a ribbon. Thank you. Yeah.